saw her gold here. Let's talk singing with expression. If the notes are the fundamental musical content of the song, then expression is how you imbue those notes with emotion and meaning. How you do that depends on the passage. It might be that you need a blustering explosion of power, an ethereal breathiness, a vulnerable catch in the voice. Whatever it is, you need to be capable of a wide variety of timbres, dynamics, articulations, and vocal gestures to be able to express what you're feeling in the moment. You might be surprised to discover there's technique involved in singing expressively, but it's very much like language. We don't intrinsically know all the words we need to communicate. We have to learn them. The more words we know, the more precise in our meaning we can be. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple expressive effects, which when judiciously and appropriately used can make your singing feel compelling and emotive. Now, you might have noticed certain singers using a little extra push of air to feather the ends of notes and give this intimate feeling. You try it. Now there's a couple things you need to pay attention to when you're doing this kind of effect. First is the sensation of allowing breath through in the tone on purpose. It's a bit like a half whisper. You don't totally soften it. It's not this. You let the vocal folds just a little bit apart and only at the end. And you have to give a little extra push with the abdomen to accelerate the air through. Otherwise, you'll just have a sigh at the end of the note, which is probably not what you want. And in working to conditionally allow breath through on the decay of the note, we'll be mastering control over the throttle that modulates breathiness in the tone in a general sense. And being able to shade the tone with breath at will is a massively expressive tool. Our exercise is gonna be exactly what we just did, a sustain while letting in a little air towards the end of the note. And we're gonna do it a variety of places in your range. As you'll find, some places this is rather easy to do. In others, it takes some practice. So let's get to it. We're softening the decay of the note with breathiness on O. Here we go. Another emotionally expressive gesture you want in your arsenal is the cry. Oh! It imparts an impassioned or mournful quality to a word and gives us another option for the decay of the note. First, get the sound that you release into, Dan. It's like this. Oh. This is actually an intentional break into falsetto. Without any style on it, it sounds like this. That's chest voice uh, into falsetto. Uh, and we're harnessing the break, choosing to reveal it for effect because it communicates vulnerability. Now, this tends to sound most expressive when we're singing in the passaggio, near where your head voice would naturally lie. There's too wide a span between the full voice note and the falsetto cry. It can start to sound yodely. Okay, we're gonna sing this expressive effect in a more musical context. Once you get it down on the open vowel, try incorporating lyrics or simply singing on numbers. One, two, three, five. You get the idea. Now it's your turn. Adding the cry to the ends of notes on open vowels, numbers, or invented lyrics.
Okay, great work. Now, there's a lot more to say here. And if you'd like to learn additional expressive techniques, as well as train every other aspect of your singing, including tone, tuning, range, power, runs, and a whole lot more, you'll want to get my V60 vocal system at over a thousand tracks and 30 hours of exercises and instruction. It's the most comprehensive vocal program there is, and it'll get your voice sounding the best it ever has. To get it, there's a link in the description. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Sahir Gaunt. I'll see you next time.